As we left Athens behind about an hour into our journey across to the Peloponnese, we arrived at a wonder of 19th century engineering. So behind me is the uh, Corinth Canal, or Corythios, as it's known in Greece. And it's been here since the 1800s. It uh, is carved through the rock, creating like a Panama Canal type scenario uh, between the north of Greece and down into Athens. Um, it's really not used for commercial purposes anymore, and that's due to the fact that it's not wide enough for the boats that come through this area now. So it's really just a tourist attraction now for people, but it's pretty stunning, as I'm sure you'll agree. The canal is 6.4 kilometers, four miles in length, and only 21.4 meters, about 70 feet wide at its base, making it impassable for many modern ships. Being able to travel through the canal saves around 700 kilometers, a 430 mile trip around the Peloponnese, so you can understand why they wanted to build this route through to the Aegean Sea. Records show that right back to 7 BC, former rulers had considered creating this route Several attempts were made, but it wasn't until the end of the Ottoman rule in the 1800s that finally plans were executed and construction completed in April 1882. Today there is a small information centre, a memorial to those that built the canal, and you can now even bungee jump from the bridge. Would you do this? Let us know in the comments below. You can book mini cruises through the canal at this website at £25 a round trip. Next time we continue our drive from Athens to the Mani Peninsula and the stunning village of Limini. There's lots more to come from this travel series, so make sure you subscribe and don't miss any of this incredible area of Greece. Until the next time, happy travels from the Memory Seekers.